Well, I guess I'll start off with my name. I'm Kevin Chen, and I'm a sophomore at Northwestern University, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. So I guess um, to start off, West Ob Ever is, I guess, like the second layer of um, what Kanye uh, is on Reddit, I guess, because there's like r slash Kanye. Big following on there, but then um, you dig into West Ob Ever and you get more of the people that are like part of the hardcore following of Kanye, I guess. So people like, you know, that are into his unreleased stuff, fo that follow his life, um, more closely, I guess. Maybe a little bit stalker sometimes, but you know, people that really like, um, I guess, identify with Kanye and what he stands for, his messages, um, and yeah. So, I guess one that I can think of is just like the classic one of just Mike Dean being locked up in the in the in the mixing studio and just um, producing away and just like being being held hostage by Kanye. That one that one was pretty great. Um, I guess other characters. Um, during, during that one live stream, we got to see uh, his bedroom in uh, Mercedes Benz, which was kind of weird, but there was a lot of people popping in and out. Um, I remember seeing a dude getting his hair cut. Um, I think that's, that's one of uh, his uh, main producers now. And you know, we got to see some of those like, reoccurring people that are uh, close to him. I think we got to see Chancer even a little bit, Chance the Rapper, um, just chilling out in the, in the little like, uh, bedroom he set up in the stadium. So um, I think when it was actually confirmed to be a show at uh, uh, Mercedes-Benz in uh, Atlanta. Um, I think uh, me and a couple of friends were almost instantly like, we, we, we all knew like at that, like right at that moment that we had to go, like we couldn't miss this because we didn't get to see any of the previous, previous album rollouts and we really wanted to be a part of this one since we were, you know, really getting into his discography at the time and we were, you know, like really, really wanted to just participate. So we actually um, drove all the way out um, I had to call off work for a couple of days, in fact, and uh, three of us, went, we went down to, um, all the way down to Atlanta by ourselves um, during, I think it was, it was June 1st, right, or June or July, and it was, it was incredible. Um, like always, he showed up two hours late, but uh, hearing the album for the first time, even though I think there was a lot of like controversy afterwards with people saying the audio wasn't quite great, um, it was really like a, a great experience. Like I, I don't think I've had anything um, like that, or experienced anything like that before in my life. And then I guess that ties into the other shows. So I didn't actually go, get to go to the second show in Atlanta. We had to fly back because I had to work and I had to you know, meet those, meet those uh, deadlines for my, for my project. But um, yeah, I guess the second show, it was in Chicago, right? So it was at Soldier Field. And um, since we were, we were local, we, we definitely knew that it would be um, a, a good opportunity for us to see it again. And we hoped it would be the last show before the album dropped. And luckily it was, so that, that was great to see. Um, and again, we got to see or hear some of the uh, tracks get um, touched up. But yeah, the, I honestly would, would probably rate the, rate the uh, Atlanta one a little bit higher than the Soldier Field one, just because it was, it was just the first time of like, I guess, seeing Kanye in person. And it was, it was a really cool experience. And you know, the commitment that we took to go all the way down to Atlanta, it really paid off in then. So that's, that's what, uh, that's what that like journey, little part of uh, that year meant to me.